Good evening, this is Flux, and I'm going to show you the Abbey Rhodes Vintage Drummer. This is a contact instrument that houses four drum kits from the 40s and 50s. And uh, basically what it is is it's two drum kits, and then they each have a light version that takes up less RAM. I've gone ahead and mapped out how I like it, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But I wanted to show you some of the features. Um, this this instrument has um, has grooves built into it. It's one of the drummer series, so they automatically have all these drum grooves that you can do. And regardless of where you map your pads out to, the grooves will still play properly. Now, as you can see, you have complete control over your microphones, your buses. You have uh, control over the individual sounds here. And you have access to some of the excellent um, modeled compressors and uh, tape simulation. Uh, the tape saturator sounds great on it. Uh, a lot of these um, drum grooves are very, very usable uh, for hip-hop and funk, and of course for making the style of music in which these things were uh, intended. Um, just by switching things around a little bit, you can get drastically different sounds. So a lot of this stuff is just very, very usable sounds. And of course, if you're like me, um, I tend to like to just finger drum out sounds. It's very easy to map things out. So the way you map things out, super simple. Just go to options. You click the select by MIDI. And then you just touch whatever sound you want. Like say for instance this hat. Or I'm sorry, that's a tom. On the other kid, I have a hat there. <laughs> Let's say I want to change that to a hat. Um, all I do is just hit the pad and then take it straight to hi-hat. And let's say I want it to be like a close shank. And then just hit check. And now. And it 
all just sounds very nice together. Um, again, that didn't affect how my grooves work. They still work fine. Add some swing. So you can get lots of different sound out of just a few simple grooves um, or just a simple kit and it allows you to really get ridiculous and just kind of um, fine tune your drum sound to be exactly what you want it to be. Um, let's see here, you can get into the room mix and everything right from your kit. So that's how this kit sounds. Sorry, I keep forgetting I have a camera there. And here's the other kit here, the ivory kit. Okay, let's go to here. I have this one already mapped out as well. So we can go here. So it has a really nice kind of rounded sound to it. Very smooth. Uh, you can check out some of the grooves with this one as well. Um, let's go over here to our grooves menu. And um, let's go here. Check this out.
so as you see you can get lots of different sound out of it uh very usable stuff uh, definitely something that uh you can just tweak for ages and get all kinds of different interesting sounds out of it really comes to life when you start um laying laying on top some of the machine effects and running it through guitar rig things of that nature as you can see lots of different sound out of it very fun to to play with and just kind of get funky with It is also pretty nice for those that play their drums by keyboard to see how it's all color coded out. It'd be really nice if Machine had a way of um, when you go into keyboard mode for uh, your pads to color code along with the keys. But uh, that's just not possible at this moment. So in the end though, really great sound and stuff and uh, worth checking out. So thought I'd show you what it sounds like. If you got any questions, hit me up. Flux at fluxwithit.com. Go check out the Dystopia Machine Expansion Pack that I recently released. And um, check out the website, fluxwithit.com. Peace.